It's a time for, I can say, a naughty package from China. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you click this video, you are curious, what is the Super Console X? And just like me, I just wanted to know what's inside this little me machine. So consider subscribing, hit the little bell, because I have a lot of great stuff coming up. But in this video, we are going to take a close look at the Super Console. And it includes one console, an SD card, game controllers, HDMI cable, and a power adapter. And I don't know that you can choose between PlayStation and Super NES controls. Of course, I choose the PlayStation controls, otherwise I can't play everything, because I want to test it out. How now? this thing is as the box says it has smoothly run over 80 emulators i think it's a very bold statement because you know with the chinese their systems will be naughty in some ways but in the end oh man they are flawed in many ways and we're going to find in today's video what is flawed about it the design itself is ripped off from the super nes and oh boy this is going to be an avenger i must say the box itself contains quite some information that is new and I didn't see that before because most of them just have some pictures. As you can see we're having two USB connection, SD card slot, AV out, HDMI, Ethernet connection and of course power in. Okay so enough about the box footage. let's take a close look inside what are we going to get. I just wanted to show you in an unboxing how everything is packed up. So inside the box we're going to find another box. This big box contains all the other stuff. Here we can see we're having the controllers and the first important thing with the controller is how does it feel? Oh, ooh, nice. That doesn't feel bad at all. And how does it smell? Oh man, this one is chemical. Okay, so we're having here the on and off switch at the middle between the joysticks and of course we're having the battery compartment ready put some batteries in it so no it didn't came with batteries triple a two times that we're going to get i'm very curious how this thing how this control is even going to respond it's always really challenging how to put this thing back together come on Okay, so inside the box we're going to find ooh, two deluxe toilet paper metal. The first one is from the Smart Gamepad. So they are using more like a different brand inside the package. I'm guessing they made it themselves. I see some ooh, toilet paper deluxe manual. There's explanation how the controls work, how you need to connect it. Okay, so yeah, if you're interested, you can check it out. Here we're having the manual of the system itself. And oh, there's a very extended toilet paper deluxe manual. As you can see, everything, how you need to add games. They did a very nice job. There is nothing else. But there is something I wanted to show you because there is something that is very strange with the controllers. Both of them have a separate dongle. And uh, if you have seen my Pandora box videos, most of them have one dongle, two controllers. Yeah, you don't, so don't see the other dongle because it's laying over there. Yeah. So it's quite interesting to see what you're going to get inside the package. I need to it like this otherwise i don't know which dongle goes where so we're having two dongles two usb connections so if you want to play with four players that is possible let's show you what i mean with this let's grab ourselves the other box this box contains all the other stuff okay here we're having the power supply in this very flimsy cardboard box and let's take a close look at this whoa these are some small letters let's see if i can read it Mm, it's just a 12 volt power supply, 1 amp. Okay, let's see. And this is what I mean. If you want to play with 4 players, you're going to need a USB hub. Oh, I, I can tell you, these things are freaking awful. USB 2.0. I would not recommend using these. And here we're having the system itself. As you can see, a more a very tiny box. It's just a super, super tiny box. I'm very curious what's inside this mean machine. HDMI cable. And nothing else. Okay, so let's take a close look at the game system. Better said, like the Super Console X. All right, so let's take a close look at the Super Console X. I really love the design itself. It's pretty damn naughty in my opinion. There is no button, there is nothing. It's just more like for decoration. It says here, Super Console X. I do like the font they're using. At the front, there is nothing. At the right, we're having two USB connections and we're having the SD card. It's my precious no. But nevertheless, we're having here the AV out, Ethernet connection, we're having HDMI out, and we're having input for the power supply. 
and also we're having an on and off switch at the bottom we can find a lot of holes for cooling and they are having more like these foam you know, as i can say foam feet for giving this thing some stability but nevertheless let's take a look at the bottom we're having some more information about yeah 12 volt one amp uh, number model number x so there's not a lot of information on it so let's open it up okay so removing the top plate was very easily only needed to remove three screws and this is what we're going to get from the inside but let's do a quick overview a little bit later let's talk about the top cover as you can see that there is nothing happening over here there is it seems to be that it, it has been used for different something different but you can see that it doesn't hold something here in the inside so let's do a quick overview of the main board itself but before we're going any further an overview of the main board it's time for the eta prime moment but we're going to chit chat about specifications so this device comes with an s 905 m chip that is a quad core a 53 cpu that also includes a five core mali 450 gpu there's a total one gigabyte of ram and possibility for wi-fi capability and ethernet connection by rg45 connection nevertheless it's a quite unique device let's do a quick overview because i think this main board is unique and specially made for the super console x okay so here we can find the cpu and the problem is with the i couldn't remove the cooling element so i just leave it over here here we're having the ram modules and over here we can find the real tech chip for the wi-fi connection and it seems to be this is the antenna or it looks like an antenna and over here we can find the serial number for the main board. It's the MB S9504. And of course the S905 is especially more like an indication that is an S905 main board specification. But nevertheless we can chit chat all day ETA Prime style. But we're just going to play some games and just to see how good is the performance of this device.
defense formation. Hold B button down to walk on. Yo. Release it to fire a homing missile. Level 1 security door breach. Emergency formation. Intercept intruder. All right, so that's what we're going to get with the Super Console X. And I can say that this is the next level of naughtiness when it comes to a game system. So I like the looks, but I'm not a big fan of the way how it's cool because it's getting really hot of a couple of hours of using. The controls, yeah, I start, I just basically stopped using them after a couple of hours. I had some problems getting it to work on the system. Very strange, and but by the way, this is not like a PlayStation 2 controller, so it's not that great so i keep using my xbox 360 controller on the device because it works like a charm so yeah let me know when it comes what do you think of this i want to thank you for watching consider subscribing hit the little bell and if you have any questions come on leave it in the comments and i will see you in the next video